Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and this cylinder in front of us, that's the base for the design we're going to have a look at and let's start by looking at the image, this is from a Reddit question, the question was how we do this cut out here and well this is just a paint drawing or something so it's hard to see what's going on but so this is my assumption of the design intent we can use blue. We somewhere here have a center line of the cylinder. And my guess is that this red edge, the straight edge here, is a line to the center. And this is a flat face that's also aligned to the center. So we have like let's switch colors and switch the size of the line slightly. Let's do red. Uh, we should have an angle here. And we should have a hive here. So there's a hive of this here, also in red here. And we have just like this helix sweep up here. So this is cut away then later. So that is what I suppose is design intent. So this is here. I'm going to switch color once again. Let's do this green. I suspect, suspect that this face here is a flat face. And this face here is a simple helix going up. So let's see if we can do this cut out from a cylinder like this or a pipe like this so i'm just creating this uh, in this case i have it centered on the iridium so i have one axis that i can use over planes here if it's off to the side you need to create uh, construct uh where are you axis through cylinder cone and then create some planes to work on but i'm a bit of a cheating so i'm going to use the original planes here so i'm going to create a sketch on the plane here from the front vis-a-vis -vis sketch is now in if you do slice we can see we are sketching in the middle of a pipe turn off slice so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the s on the keyboard and find the intersect command intersect i'm going to do selection field of body because i want to find the body like that i'm going to hit ok do look at sketch hide the body a bit easier we only need one size so just to clean up things i'm going to mark this delete it we really don't need the top and bottom line here so i'm going to mark the line and hit delete mark this line and hit delete i want to avoid a uh, duplicating line also on top of each other because now i'm going to sketch go back to me the first thing i'm basically going to sketch is the flat part here but i'm going to overextend it so i'm going to make a rectangle like this i'm going to make a line because i want this edge here to be a line to the center of the cylinder and that's the region point going to take this line just for visibility turn it into construction and make it a uh, vertical i'm going to make a coincident between this here and here and for safety this is going to be a surface patch in a short while uh, let's turn on the body the body ends here but for safety i want this edge here to be beyond let's like 10 millimeters beyond outside of a cylinder face i want to avoid uh, tangent or close to tangent faces because fusion sometimes get a bit uh, annoyed by that so this is just a safety dimension but i have a dimension that's slightly important is the one here this dimension here let's do it 15 this is the depth of a cut let's go back so that's the hive we had here let's yeah green it's the dimension we have here that's the hive of a depth of this cut let's go back it's going to be 15 and we have a fully defined sketch you're going to finish sketch step one we can simply make the flat part jump over to surfaces i'm going to use patch select r here i forgot to change these lines into construction so i need to select all the profiles no problem hit ok we have made a surface body now i need to make the helix i'm going to use sweep make sure chain selection is off we can select the profile first it's the bottom line here the path we're going to sweep along is the height of the rectangle here and of course we need to give it a twist angle do it 90 degrees and in this case it goes compared to the image go back in this case it goes to the left so I simply change the twist angle to minus 90 degrees i don't think it's 90 degrees in the image but i'm gonna make it 90. so by doing that we are making our second surface body gonna hit ok turn on the cylinder and hide our sketches so we have a couple of bodies here we have this cylinder here or pipe and we have a two surface bodies that we want to use to split or cut away from this pipe and we can do a split body in two steps split things split faces redelete the things but there's another option i want to show you 
but there's some to use it that is the boundary fill. Boundary fill, select the tools. The tools is the pipe and our two solid bodies. I could even here skip and not do this uh, little uh, surface patch, the one rectangular surface patch. I could be using the plane down here, basically because it's cutting the same direction, but it, I'm done it this way. Select cells. This is a bit uh, confusing sometimes. You get, uh, you get these boxes in here and you think you need to click on the boxes. These two boxes are only indications what, what cells you have selected for boundary fill. What you do, uh, which is a bit hard to see, it's, you see the green here. When I move the mouse cursor off, it gets slightly brighter. And if I do it on the part we don't want, this part here it becomes slightly brighter. So what I'm going to do, select cell. I'm going to click on the part that I, body, that I want to have remaining after the features done so i'm going to click on the large part of the body see i get the check mark operation new body and i'm going to do remove tools this will remove all the used bodies of course not origin planes will not be removed but all the bodies removed and we get a clean design like this things get removed we are ending up with one single body all the surface body and other stuff are getting removed and we have got done our little helix cut or with circular ratchet now let's say okay i want four of these i want more of them s on the keyboard and do circular pattern and of course it's a bit complicated to do a pattern of features we're going to boundary fill that will not work what i'm going to do is do an object type uh, faces select the two faces select our axis and let's do it this time of course we need 90 degrees it's going to be four in quantity hit ok and now have for like a small rotary ratchet for some mechanism we want to do. So I hope you found some useful video and I hope you're having a good summer. Hope to see you around and goodbye.